I'm going to show you step by step how to decorate this fun ice cream cake. It's a much easier design than you might think and it gets a great reaction. I tinted my buttercream blue using gel colour, which is much more concentrated than liquid colours so you'll get really bright colours with just a few drops. This case is intended for nail polish but it's perfect for little gel bottles and I'll put the link for it in the video description. Assemble your cake by alternating cake and filling and then cover it with a crumb coat, which if you're new to cake decorating is a really thin layer of frosting that traps any crumbs that come off the cake so that they don't get into the final layer of frosting. Let that set by putting it in the fridge for about 30 minutes and then spread on your final layer of frosting, this beautiful blue, and smooth it with a cake comb to make nice straight sides and a level top and sharp angles from the top of the cake down to the sides. Put the cake in the fridge for another hour to set the frosting and meanwhile prepare the ice cream cone. To make the buttercream for the ice cream cone I'm using a tiny drop of brown and a tiny drop of orange and you really don't need much buttercream or much gel for the cone, just a few spoonfuls of buttercream and the tiniest drops of gel you can squeeze out of the bottle. Or you can dip a toothpick into the bottle for more control over how little gel you're adding. Add yellow to brighten the colour and brown to make it darker, until you're happy with the colour. The neatest way I've found to make the cone is to make your own stencil, which is really quick and easy and cheap. All you need is a piece of parchment paper. Cut a triangle with the top of the cone touching one edge of the parchment so it will go like this onto the cake. Once the frosting on the cake has set, wrap the stencil around the cake and hold it in place with your fingers. You can hold an ice cream scoop at the top to check that the cone is wide enough. Spread the brown frosting onto the exposed cake in the middle of the triangle, spreading up and down rather than side to side so that you don't push the buttercream underneath the stencil by mistake because that would smudge the edges of the cone. Scrape gently over the brown frosting with a cake comb to flatten and smooth the frosting and then peel the stencil off straight away to leave a neat triangle behind on the cake. I know this doesn't look like an ice cream cone yet but it will in a minute. To make a waffle cone pattern, use the straight side of a cake comb to indent the brown frosting, holding it at a diagonal, and I'm using one side of my triangle as a guide to mimic that angle all the way across the cone, to make sure my lines are parallel, and I'm trying to space them evenly too. I find that the neatest way to imprint the lines is to follow the curve of the cake and slowly angle my cake comb up so that it presses against the cone at the bottom of the cake first, and then I'm working my way upwards. Flip the cake comb around to indent lines that cross over these lines at a diagonal in the opposite direction. For the scoop of ice cream on top of the cone, use buttercream and add whatever gel you like to colour it. I'm not mixing mine in completely to create a sort of raspberry ripple effect. Buttercream has the same texture as ice cream but it doesn't melt, so it's much more stable on a cake than actual ice cream. Use an ice cream scoop to scoop up a bowl of buttercream and then release it on top of the cake above the ice cream cone. It probably won't look like ice cream straight away. Add some texture at the bottom of the scoop by spreading on a few blobs of buttercream with an offset spatula, gently pressing them and then pulling away and that will pull little peaks of buttercream outwards. Then put a bit of leftover coloured buttercream in a Ziploc bag or you can use a piping bag with a tiny hole cut off the tip and pipe some little teardrop shapes onto the cone to look like melting drops of ice cream. You can use an offset spatula or even a toothpick to manipulate the buttercream to adjust the shape of the drops. To write a message on the cake I'm using sweet stamp letters and I'll put a discount code in the video description. The easiest way to lift the letters out of the box is to wrap a piece of tape around your finger backwards, sticky side out, and press that into whatever letters you want. For the best results on buttercream frosting, chill the cake in the fridge to completely set the frosting for a few hours or ideally overnight, and then take the cake out and leave it at room temperature for an hour so that the buttercream is still firm but it's no longer cold. And that way you'll imprint the letters when you press them into the frosting but you won't pull off chunks of buttercream when you lift the letters off, which is what can happen if your frosting is too cold. The letters don't need to be legible at this point because you're going to paint over them, but you want a clear outline to guide you as you paint over them. I'm using edible gold paint that comes ready mixed in a bottle also from Sweet Stamp, but you can make your own by mixing gold luster dust with vodka or any other clear alcohol or flavour extract. The thinner your paintbrush the better. I started with what I thought was a small paintbrush but quickly changed to the tiniest one I have. Sweet Stamp makes these amazing brushes too and this isn't a sponsored video, I just love their products. You'll probably need at least two coats of gold paint to get a really bold metallic colour, but leave the first coat to dry for 5 or 10 minutes before painting on the next coat. For a burst of colour, add a sprinkle border. Place the cake on a tray to catch any bouncing sprinkles and make the cleanup easy. 
Pour sprinkles onto the cake board, all around the cake, and then press them into the bottom inch or so of the cake. Using an offset spatula or your hand, and pressing quite firmly because the frosting has set, so the sprinkles won't stick to it unless you use a bit of pressure. Paint over the letters again if you need to, and you can see that the colour is much more eye-catching and shimmery now. Quick warning about the ice cream scoop, that ball of buttercream is heavy and can make the frosting droop or crack, so to keep the cake stable, put it in the fridge until 4 hours before you serve it. If you've enjoyed these step-by-step -step instructions, you will love the mini courses on my cake school. I teach hundreds of cake designs and techniques, and if you join my club plus, you'll get access to all of them. I also have a free course on 10 frosting techniques, and I'll put the link for my cake school in the top of the screen and in the video description. Or you can go to BritishGirlBakes.com. Thanks for watching.